Tiger Woods is recovering in hospital this morning following a serious car crash in Los Angeles. The 15 times major champion suffered a number of fractures to his right leg as well as a broken ankle. His car veered off the road and rolled several times before ending up on its side. He was the only person involved in the accident and needed to be removed from the car by firefighters and paramedics. Well, Woods is here at the Harbour UCLA Medical Centre. The news, as you would imagine, at has attracted huge media attention from all around the world. Woods' team released a statement on his Twitter account this morning with an update. It said this. We thank everyone for the overwhelming support and messages during this tough time. As previously communicated, Tiger was involved in a single car accident earlier this morning in California. He has undergone a long surgical procedure on his lower right leg and ankle after being brought to the hospital. He is currently awake, responsive and recovering in his hospital room. Thank you to the wonderful doctors and hospital staff at Harbour UCLA Medical Centre, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and the Fire Department. Your support and assistance has been outstanding. Well, Woods' team also released a statement from Anish Maharajan, the chief medical officer at the hospital. Now He said... Mr. Woods suffered significant orthopaedic injuries to his right lower extremity that were treated during emergency surgery by orthopaedic trauma specialists. Open fractures affecting both the upper and lower portions of the tibia and fibula bones were stabilised by inserting a rod into the tibia. Additional injuries to the bones of the foot and ankle were stabilised with a combination of screws and pins. Trauma to the muscle and soft tissue of the leg required surgical release of the covering of the muscles to relieve pressure due to swelling. Well, helicopter footage shows the seriousness of the crash with Woods' car travelling several hundred feet from the central reservation. TMZ Sports released this audio from the first response team. Uh, fire in Fire. We have a rollover with someone uh, trapped. Yes, I'm off the phone with them. Let me call them back. Because of his injuries, Woods was unable to get out of the car and needed assistance from the emergency services who used tools, which included an axe, to remove him safely. Well, police arrived on the scene to conduct their investigation into the incident. You can see them measuring the distance between objects on the road. That's to determine speed. And as you can see, it's clear just how far he travelled. Bits of debris, including this broken road sign, were marked by the police. And the police have confirmed the vehicle Woods was driving was a courtesy car. You can see Genesis Invitational's branding on the side there. That's the tournament he hosted at the weekend. Well, the wreckage was then hoisted back onto the road and onto four wheels so the investigators could gather evidence and take photos. A resident of the area spoke to a local news team about the dangers of this stretch of road. You got to be careful because sometimes people pull out, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it can be treacherous sometimes. Well, Woods's car was towed away, and the LA police officer who was first on the scene described what happened. I asked him what his name was. Um, he told me his name was Tiger, and at that moment, I immediately recognized him. Um, I asked him if he knew where he was, um, what time of day, just to make sure he was oriented. Um, he seemed as though he was lucid and uh, and calm. Unfortunately, Mr. Woods was not able to stand under his own power. Um, our partners at LA County Fire were able to um, extricate him from the vehicle and they put him onto a backboard. The specific stretch of roadway is one of our, our trouble spots. It's a hot spot for traffic collisions as well as speed. The nature of his vehicle, the fact that he was wearing a seatbelt, um, I, I would say that it greatly increased the likelihood that it saved his life. It's very fortunate that Mr. Woods um, was able to uh, come out of this alive. Well, we got the call at 712, and that came from the neighbors, so we have to assume it. they made that call almost immediately as soon as it happened because the neighbors, they're sitting right within 50 feet of the location. Is it possible that Mr. Woods was on the phone when this accident occurred, or is this one of the factors that we're going to be considering? That's something we'll, we'll have to explore. The investigators will have to ascertain that, if it was distracted driving. No evidence of impairment this time. That'll be subject to the investigation. You say no evidence of impairment. What exactly? Well, we're looking at uh, signs of uh, influ under the influence of either narcotics, medication, alcohol, odor of alcohol, all these different things that would give you an, an idea in their behavior, but there was none, none present. 
Well, these are the latest images of Woods's car. It's arriving at the fire department and you can really see the extent of the damage. The local fire chief, whose team safely removed Woods, revealed how they did it. We used a halogen tool, which is a tool used for prying, and we also used an axe uh, to pry him from the vehicle. He was taken from the vehicle with seat uh, a collar and backboard for um, spinal precautions. Um, he was, uh, had the proper splints. Because of the nature of the incident being a solar vehicle rollover and the fact that it required an extrication that met trauma center criteria, the nearest trauma center to the area is Harbor uh, UCLA Hospital where he was transported in sta serious but stable condition. Bryson DeChambeau was preparing for the WGC Workday Championship in Florida when he heard the news. A number of players found out the news on their phones whilst playing a practice round. Something that I feel terrible about for him. I texted Rob, I called Rob, and uh, you know he said he's got some things going on, obviously, with, with his legs and stuff, broken. Uh, but I will say that uh, whatever's happened, he's always come back from it in a, in a pretty amazing way. He's an amazing human being that has done incredible things. Well, Woods hasn't featured in an official PGA Tour event since he tied 38th at the Masters in November. His putt on the 18th, his most recent shot in competitive golf. But the last time we saw him on a golf course was with his 11-year-old son Charlie at an exhibition event in December. The Woods duo finished seventh on their debut. Well, on tour, Justin Thomas is one of Tiger's closest friends and was close to tears when asked about the incident. Yeah, I mean, I'm sick to my stomach. Uh, you know, it hurts to see one of your, I mean, now my closest friends, um, you know, get in, a, in an accident. And, man, I just hope he's all right. Um, just, uh, just worry for his kids, you know. I'm sure they're struggling. As if... You know, he hasn't, his body hasn't endured enough, so um, I don't know all the facts. I just know he was in an accident and, and he underwent surgery or he's in the hospital or something like that. So, uh, you know, just, just hoping is as out of this bad situation is the best possible outcome. And, you know, hope he can recover from it and uh, we can see him on the golf course as early as possible.